Okay. Back on our notes. We're in our new cool spooky note journal. Okay, let's go back. And read this again. Whoops. All right. Leaves that appear on a fresh spring tree make my birth different from the other three. When swans drift by on shimmering blue, I'm the only one who plays in the summer dew. Spring is going to be green. Don't know about the autumn one, and then uh, and when winter comes and birds take flight, look at look to me to sleep through the long gray night. Hmm. Got some aminals on here. All right. Let's head to the graveyard. whispering. <laughs> Wrong game. Right yellow ribbon. Take a left. We got Lucy. April. Hmm. Probably should write down both dates. All right, we're going to try this again. I don't like how the how my layout was. Lucy, let's try this again. Are they considering them all with the same death date? Is that when they all run away? Looks like it. Alright. 
right. Okie dokie dokie dokie. What the heck does all that mean? <laughs> All right. Can't do anything in the crypt just yet. I bet the poem in the kitchen is the solution to the dog puzzle. I just need to associate each dog with a season and a symbol, deer, swan, birds, or tree, and point and point the dog to the correct living room wall. Hmm. Hmm. Off we go. I mean, I knew they were associated, but, um... Oops. Wait, that's a stump. Away and then left. Oh, ho, ho, it's the patterns on the wall, I think. I mean, like, the part of the wallpaper. Is that how we know? I didn't even notice that before. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Does it have something to do with it? If I don't get me a doggy woofing cuckoo clock, I'm gonna be devastated. <laughs> Oops. Okie dokie. Hmm. Is it the color? I think we got like two colors. Hmm. Hmm, as Nancy says. Oh, okay. Moving the dog statues and then changing the pictures on the clock. Okay. What a personalized cabin you have here, sir. Okay.
we're just gonna do it one at a time. Fetus, 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 fetus. A. Okay, spring leaves trees. Okay, right. Okay, we need to associate their birth dates, I believe. Okay, August is going to be summer. Spring. It's going to be Lucy. That's in April. Autumn is going to be Iggy. And then Vit Vetus is going to be Winter Gray. Okay, so that is not correct. Okay, and this is the arrangement of them. Okay, got it, got it, got it. In that order. Got it. Okay. Are swans associated with winter? No. This is gonna be it. What? I get the feeling that we've missed some shit at the ranger station, of course. Alright, alright. Let's call our main bitches, Bess and George, see if they've got anything to say. ID stuff is going to take some getting used to. I'm here too, Nan. What's going on? Moon Lake is gorgeous, but it's so remote. The park ranger is the closest thing they have to a sheriff around here. Park ranger? What's he like? Which, as we all know, is Bess's way of saying, park ranger? Is he cute? Not true, George. Nancy thinks everybody's cute, so what will be the point? Anyway, Nancy, you were saying? His name's Jeff Akers. He's very helpful, polite, efficient, knowledgeable. Sounds boring. In fact, well, he knows does. more about the area than all the other residents of Moon Lake combined. Sounds very boring. What's he know about these alleged ghost dogs? He thinks they're just plain old dogs that for some reason like to run around at night scaring people. And what does Detective Drew think about the dogs? I think Sally had good reason to be scared of them. I don't blame her for leaving. Which leads me to think that maybe that was the whole idea. Somebody had those dogs attack Sally in order to scare her away? Why would anybody do that? She was there for less than a month. You'd have to be a total creep to make enemies that fast. And Sally's one of the nicest people I know. Ooh, Nancy. Speaking of cute guys, Frank and Joe Hardy called. I filled them in on where you are and what you're doing, and they're dying to hear from you. Focus, ladies, focus. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what are they up to? Compared to you, nothing. As I was telling them about this latest case of yours, I could hear them turning green with envy right through the receiver. Their number is 280-555-4865. 
Bess didn't recognize it when they called and almost didn't answer the phone. Good thing my cousin here has a memory like an elephant, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Call them, Nancy. They're dying to hear from you. But remember, Frank's cute and all that, but George and I want to hear from you, too. Yeah. No <laughs> fair discussing the case with them from now on and not with us. Promise you'll keep us up to speed? <laughs> I promise. This bird watcher I met has got me taking pictures of birds for some survey he's doing. He's a bit of a grump. Does he live nearby? Grump. No, he just kind of hangs out in the woods. In fact, I only see him at night. Interesting. He's in the woods at night. The dogs are in the woods at night. Mm. Could he have had a reason for wanting Sally out of the Malone house? As far as I know, he and Sally were on good terms. But I also know that Red doesn't seem to have much use for any life form that doesn't molt. He sounds like my uncle's ex. He's into birds. Only he doesn't watch them. He hunts them, then shoots them. I Whoa. never really liked my Uncle Zack. Did I mention that all the water in Sally's house comes from a well? Ew, really? Does it taste like rotten eggs? Not all well water tastes like rotten <laughs> eggs, yes. I don't know if it does or not. Because the well is so old, I need to get the water tested before I drink it. Good plan. Nothing will wreck your day faster than a nice tall glass of contaminated water. Um, so we can ask them for a hint. I don't think we need it right this second. We're kind of on track. Once we can decipher this dog puzzle. Bye, you guys. Good luck, Nancy. And stay in touch. And we'll, we'll go from there. Let's talk to the Hardy Boys. Hello? Hey, Joe. It's Nancy. Nancy, how's it going? Uh, no, wait, don't answer that. Talk about the weather or something. The weather? Yeah, that'll give me time to grab the other phone and take it outside. Frank's washing the car. He'll kill me if he misses anything. Uh, here, wait a sec. Take a break, it's Nancy. Hang on, he's putting the hose down. He's drying his hands. He's walking over. This hardly Nancy, seems hi. necessary. What's up? Bess and George say you've got another mystery on your hands. Or should we say, on your paws. They told you about the dogs? We made them tell us everything. Pumped them dry. As you may have guessed, we're not exactly rolling. You did what to them? Here. So you're living vicariously through me. It's not the first time, sad to say. What conclusions have you reached so far, detective? All right. So... <laughs> if you didn't understand what they meant by get the other phone, you are not old. You are a young whippersnapper. So, back in uh, the days of the Alexander Graham Bell telephone and the landlines, um, this is not something I thought I'd be explaining. Um, if you're on a landline, there is only one line to, let's say, the house, right? And every phone, you could have multiple phones, multiple receivers, um... But they all go to the same line. So if you want multiple folks in on a conversation, they all just have to pick up the phone. Uh, and it's the same phone call. If you're in the same house, then there was three-way calling. And then, um, you know, if Mean Girls doesn't make sense to you to when you get, you know, when they three-way three call ambush somebody, um, yeah, that's what's happening. But... Um, but yeah, all the, the phones on one single landline go. It's, it's one phone call. Isn't that something? Wow, that was not where I thought my night was going to end. Eee. Now I feel really old. If nothing else, those ghost dogs are very well trained. I'm watching to see who owns and or trains dogs around here. Good plan. But don't forget... A really smart perpetrator is going to make it look like he or she has no connection to dogs whatsoever. But then a really, really smart perp might have dogs all over the place and not bother to hide it. Because he or she would figure you'd never suspect anyone so obvious. That bird watcher doesn't have a dog. And when I met him for the first time, he seemed awfully eager to make sure I knew the story about Malone and his dogs. Sounds like a suspect to me. Best said something about a good-looking park ranger? Park ranger Jeff Akers. What do you think? Does a uniform make a person more suspicious or more. less suspicious? I'm sure my brother here would say a uniform automatically makes somebody more suspicious. Because most people assume that a uniform makes the wearer less suspicious. Right, Joe? Right. Of course, then again, your really, really smart perp is going to Joe. We get the picture. 
Hmm. I'm convinced that someone is using those ghost dogs to scare Sally into abandoning Malone's house. If I can just figure out why, I might be able to figure out who. Never hurts to look for motive. Malone and his four dogs are supposedly buried in a little cemetery near the house. They've all got headstones inscribed with when they were born and when they died. That's interesting. Did Malone have family? Not that I'm aware of. Then who had the tombstones inscribed? Hmm. I don't know, but it had to be someone who had access to Malone's house and property after he died. Sounds like this latest puzzle of yours is still missing a few pieces. I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? We can probably come up with a few, but we're not going to make it easy for you. After all, it's your case. Mm -hmm. Not ours. Have come you on, tried boys. fixing the floor in the living room yet? Later, guys. Watch out for dogs. Just watch out. How do I do that? Hey Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Talk to you later. Thanks again, Nancy. No help at all. Oh, wait a minute. I've got all these boards. Nice. What the heck? Yep, we know. Rotten floorboards. Is that it? Okay. We need to buy some camouflage. Whoops. And look for some symbolism with the different aminals. Hmm. All right, let's go do that. So parody. Howdy, Nancy. To make a long story short, I need some camouflage gear. Got some right over here. One size fits all. But I'm running kind of low on bait. So if you go out and get me, oh, say a dozen little critters, I'll give you the camos. A dozen little critters? Worms, spiders, beetles, Ew. grubs. Anything that wriggles on its belly will do. Just look under stuff. Rocks, logs, dead leaves. Should be able to find 12 in no time. Do I need some kind of permit? Think 